so I just had a huge swarm take flight. That is so big, it's gotta be from more than one hive, and they just combined into one swarm. And that's just a massive swarm. And I am getting ready to go to work. So what I am gonna do is take some honey bears, and I'm gonna fill my swarm traps with honey, and see if that works. So this honey bear is gonna pour in to the front of this swarm trap. And I'm going to pour some right along the front here so it goes down on the bottom board. And I know some of you that knows swarm traps are probably thinking this is super low to the ground. Because normally you want them 8 to 12 feet up in the air. And look, this is just sitting on a stock tank for watering animals. But I have a ton of swarms that take off from one hive in my bee yard and simply move to another hive in my bee yard. And this is just outside the bee yard. So I'm gonna run with it and see what happens here. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing with this swarm trap that I have sitting on a stack of old tires under my lean-to. And hope that between these two swarm traps, I wind up with a swarm. I've got other swarm traps out in the woods and they could easily just go out to one of them, but these are nice and close, and now they're full of honey. Get some on the outside edge of this too. So let's see, hopefully this works. I'll update. So that great big swarm from up at the house flew all the way out into my woods and wound up in the swarm trap that I have on my tree stand. So I did not lose that swarm. I really don't know how all those bees fit in there, but it's deep enough. I think there's 10 frames in that swarm trap, so there is plenty of space. But man, I am glad that I did not lose that massive swarm.